Alrighty, now with today's build, this was something that I have told you, the community, um, several times in my past videos, where if you request it and I can put something together that, you know, I want to show you, then I will. And, well, there were some people that requested the Bighorn. Now, it is known that I am not the biggest fan of the Bighorn, but nevertheless, this is going to be one of the hardest hitting Bighorn builds you're ever going to see. Now, I'm going to say one of the because this is not max expertise all the way up to 23. I think this one's only expertise 15. But this build setup, you're, you're going to be hitting for over 2.2 million per bullet. And if you scope in, it's over 10 million per bullet. That's right. Not scoped in, fully automatic, more than 2 million per bullet. And while scoped in, you can hit for over 10 million per bullet. You ready to see how? Here we go. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to show you one of the hardest hitting Bighorn builds you'll ever see in the Division 2. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and jump into the build breakdown, shall we? I'll show you all the damage numbers and everything afterwards, but let's get the build breakdown out of the way. Because this thing is banana pancakes. It's stupid strong. It is ridiculously strong. Now, this is the hardest hitting combo I've uh, I've gotten this far. And remember, that Bighorn is only at expertise level 15. So I will be able to get this even higher later on down the road. But let's start off with the specialization. I'm using the gunner specialization. There are many reasons why the gunner specialization is a good one. Uh, a few being you get bonus armor every time you pop an armor kit, you get armor on kill, you get RPMs on kill, you get a riot foam grenade, and you get the Banshee pulse. And that is all thanks to this one specialization. Now, you can use whatever specialization you want. I just gave you some reasons on why I am using this one. Now, as far as my secondary and sidearm, my secondary actually does matter for this build, and that is the rock and roll. Now, you can use the rock and roll shotgun or the ACS-12 or the lefty. It doesn't matter. All of those will work just fine uh, because you can shoot them nonstop, right? With the high RPM, as long as you're getting those hits on target, it doesn't matter. You'll get your stacks up, just switch back to your primary and mow them all down. What you're doing is you're using a high RPM shotgun to get as many stacks as you can in the shortest amount of time. So whip out one of these shotguns, boom, 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 boom. You're at max stacks, switch over to your bighorn and have a nice day. So your secondary does matter for this build. And it's the same mechanic that you would use for like, say, Heartbreaker. Now the sidearm, I just have the backup boomstick. I, I don't really care. You could use whatever you want. But as long as you have the ACS-12 rock and roll, whatever, shotgun, and your bighorn, you are good to go. Now, let's talk about the star of the show, the bighorn. This is the exotic AR. Now, how do you get this exotic AR? Well, there are a few different ways. Uh, first up, I would say legendary strongholds. My favorite is District Union Arena. It's super fast, super easy, and you can get the bighorn within the day. The next way would be the summit. So play the summit on legendary and you could farm floor 10. And if you farm floor 10, you could just kill the boss over and over and over on legendary and you will be able to get this to drop as well with targeted loot AR, of course. And now the third way, the newest way to get the bighorn is from the dark zone. So whenever you see me do one of those farm this now videos, it's usually because there is AR in the dark zone and that is your best bet in getting this without doing legendary content. Now, let's talk about the exotic. So here it is, the Bighorn. This thing is sitting at 125.5K total damage with 920 for that RPM, but only a 40 round magazine. That's one of the reasons why I do not like this weapon. Uh, another reason why I do not like this weapon is it comes with crit hit damage as that bottom attribute. And we all know that damage to targets out of cover and damage to armor are the way to go. But this thing is maxed out, max AR health and crit hit damage. 
Now the talent is where things get spicy. Now headshots will grant you headshot damage. So I'm going to show you with everything maxed out to the brim, max headshot, I'm going to show you what numbers you can get, and it is ridiculous. Now another thing is you can scope in. That's why I was telling you it's around 2.2 million without scoping in, and then when I scope in, it's around 10 million. And that's because when you are scoped in, it switches to semi-auto, and it deals up to 450% more weapon damage each shot. It's ridiculous. So either way, this thing is a headshot monster. Another reason why I'm not a huge fan of it, because I don't typically go for headshots too much. I, you know, I typically play on console, and when I'm playing on PC, I typically use a controller. I don't care. But that's what I do. Um, but if you love the Bighorn, just explain to me why in the comments. Why do you love the Bighorn so much? Just, just, you know, humor me. Anyways, let's talk about the build. Now, this is all reds, all red everything. I wanted to see how high I could get the damage numbers, okay? Now, the first thing we need to talk about is Striker. Now, the chest piece will get me up to 200 stacks, okay? And the backpack will make it to where it's 1% damage per stack. So that's giving us 200% more damage, all right? And that's with all stacks. So let's talk about Striker. For the two-piece, we get 15% weapon handling. Three-piece, we get 15% rate of fire. But that four-piece, Striker's Gamble. So every hit will give us 1% damage, stacking up to 200 times. Now, yes, you will lose stacks over time. Now, as far as the attributes, max weapon damage for the core, max crit hit damage with a max crit hit damage mod. For the gloves, max weapon damage and max crit hit damage. For, do, 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 for the chest piece, max weapon damage, crit hit damage with a max crit hit damage mod. And finally, the holster, max weapon damage and crit hit damage. Now, looking at the mask... We are using the Coyote's Mask. What makes this mask so special? Well, it's all about the talent pack instincts, right? So pack instincts, based off of the distance you are from the enemy you are shooting, you get a different buff. It's either crit hit damage or crit chance, or both, right? Now, because we're going to be so close with our weapon, we're typically going to get the 25% crit hit damage. Now, that's how we're getting these damage numbers up so damn high. Now, as far as the attributes, max weapon damage for the core, crit chance, crit hit damage, and max crit hit damage for that mod. And the last piece of the puzzle, the Fox's Prayer. I know, a lot of you might go, I don't know, Providence for the headshot. You might go Grupo for the crit hit damage. Hell, you might even go, what, may maybe Fenris for the base damage. But I'm telling you right now, it does not hit as hard as damage to targets out of cover. Try it out. Try me. It doesn't. I'm telling you right now. Damage targets out of cover with crit hit damage. It, it's going to hit very hard. All right? Now, as far as everything, it's maxed out. Max weapon damage for the core and that crit hit damage. And that's the build, right? Now, as far as the skills, you can use whatever it is you want. But for today, I'll be using Striker with Banshee. Now, let's finish up in the stats. Now, this is for the Bighorn. We're sitting at 125.5k weapon damage, 50.1 in PvP. I'm not using this crap in PvP, all right? Let's be real. I'll show you some PvE gameplay, but I'm not using this one in PvP, <laughs> okay? I, I really don't like the Bighorn. Now, this thing says I have negative 61% headshot. Don't ask why. I don't know. If you know why, let me know in the comments. Something's fishy there but I do have 163% crit hit damage. And don't forget about the health damage and damage targets that I cover. As far as the offensive tab, we're sitting at 115% all weapons damage bonus and 30% AR damage bonus. So every time we're using the big horn, we are sitting at 145% damage bonus total. Don't forget we have that striker giving us another 200% damage. And the pack instincts giving us another 25% crit hit damage. As far as the armor and the defensive tab is concerned, we're at 758k armor, 75k armor on kill, 345k health, and then 10% explosive and hazard protection. Now that is due to my watch level. So here is my disclaimer for all my build videos. 
I'm sitting at shade level 5,556. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you copy and paste my build and you are at or above shade level 1,000, you'll be able to get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. So whenever you do copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be a little bit lower. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's all about your shade level. So I'm not going to require you to be shade level 1,000. I'm just going to recommend, come on, reach shade level 1,000, get the most potential out of your build, and the most bang for your buck. But all right, that is it. And let's go look at some number damage, or damage numbers, and then we'll get to uh, some PvE gameplay. Why not? So if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We do division videos every day. And let me know what you think in the comments. Oop, that's not the firing range. Come on. There we go. So for this one, we're just going to go... Eh, we'll just do invulnerable. That way I show you the uh, health damage numbers because, believe it or not, when you do invulnerable elite, the highest numbers is when you get to the health. <laughs> Anyways, let's get down to the brass tacks, shall we? Use your shotgun, get your stacks up. Doom, doom, doom. And keep going. All right. And so it starts out at 1.9 million. You see what I mean here? 2.4 million. 2.42 million. Oof. 2.42 to the head. Look at that. 2.42 to the head, right? Now check this sucker out. So if I keep doing this, right? Watch this number. I get max stacks, right? Check this one out. Ten point four million. That was with max stacks. Ten point four two million. Oh, I have to get my uh, headshot numbers up. Come on. So it's two point four million without being scoped in. And then, oof, 10.6, 10.6 million at the firing range. Get out of here. 2.4 million not scoped in and 10.6 million scoped in. All right, let's jump over to some gameplay. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Have a great day, everyone. If you find this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit the thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. Let's go ahead and roll that footage. Peace out, everyone. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. All right. PVE gameplay. We're just going to help someone else. We're going to match make for heroic. And let's have some fun, shall we? Let's see what happens here. Random match make heroic. It's looking like no one's... Okay. Let's try that again. Match make heroic. There we go. I was about to say, it usually pops up instantly. Like, it's not like a you have to wait all day type of deal. It's it's instant. All right, where are we at? We are doo -doo -doo, kicking somebody already. Okay. It's like we are in. Is this Jefferson Plaza? I don't, I don't quite remember which one this is. To be honest with you. I think it is Jefferson Plaza. One of those. This should be fun. And it's, what is this, hyenas? Very cool. Here we go. Come on. And if you hear uh, Toy Story in the background, I, I am playing in the uh, living room with the kiddos. However, my mic does have a nice little condenser on it, so it should be able to block out most of the uh, background. Yeah, they need someone down. Get my stacks up. Oh. Do. Reload. Come on. There we go. This is fun here. You're near Espinosa's last known position. The shade node Run! Oh, we're gonna fly through this one. I mean, we, we kind of started at the beginning, so that's not bad. 
I'm glad that we started near the beginning. That way you can get the full experience. But again, you know, striker build, big horn, ACS 12 or rock and roll, whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat. As you can see the uh, big horn. Ooh. Ooh. Shooting me through the, uh, whatchamacallit. go and I think we just run down to the node but let me know what you think about the big horn um, I know I sound biased I, I'm just not the biggest fan of it but it is fun to use it is fun to use and using this method with the ACS 12 or the rock and roll you're able to have max stacks pretty much instantly and then you can just use you know the big horn to your you know, hearts should be a terminal that'll let you reactivate the node no Come on. No buster. Come on. Yeah, you have to run over here. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Good job. Now we run back up there. <laughs> run! Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We do division videos every day. And if you're one of the people that requested the big horn to make its comeback, let me know in the chat, let me know in the comments, and I will pin that comment, because I do listen to you guys. Not all the time, but I do. I do listen. You say you want a big horn build, I give you a big horn build. No sir, no sir. Oh, 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 getting shot, getting shot, far away, by a red. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. They just spawned on me. Stupid. I just, I just tried to put an armor kit in front of their spawn door. That, that was probably not the best executed <laughs> armor kit. That, that was probably one of the worst armor kits I've ever done. Right in front of their spawn door. Yeah, man. Try to heal up in front of the enemy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I probably just screwed everything up here. Let me help you out. There we go. Check this one. Max stacks. That was 1.7 on the uh, Chunga. 2.1 million. Did you see that? That was 2.1 million. And that's just in normal gameplay. 1.3. Oh, we're having fun now. 1.2 million. Oh, in my back. In my back. I should have known. It's the same spawn that killed me just a second ago. Uh -oh. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Die. Oh, in the spawn again. Get out of their spawn. I keep doing it. I think I'm doing it to myself. I'm just trying to see if I can... Maybe, maybe if I die a few times with the big horn on, you guys would tell me not to ever use it again. Maybe that's my <laughs> my my method on that. Maybe maybe if I just keep dying with the big horn, they'll tell me not to use the big horn. It's like reverse psychology. Stop telling me to use the big horn. I got it. I got it. Just messing with you. We're getting towards the end though. This is where stuff begins to uh, have some fun. Alright, here we go. Oh, I ran in without my team. Stupid. My team's not even on the stairs yet. Gosh. Mom, Mama Stike. Mama Stike's back up. Super easy. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I almost just blew up. Maybe 
he's about to start yelling at me. I think it's about to be dinner time. Run! There we go. Oh, nope. Run! Home stretch, baby.